Hi, back again. <laughs> I'd like to introduce a very special friend of mine, Vince Clark. <laughs> right, Vince. What have you been up to lately then? Tell us a bit about it. Oh, well, I'm uh, currently in the studio um, recording a single with a great singer called Paul Quinn, who was formerly in a band called Bougie Bougie. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's uh, starting sounding really good. And is that, is that, that going to be coming out in the near future? Or? Yeah, hopefully in a month's time, you know, we're going to get to mix it next week. Right, right. I wonder what you thought of... Uh, Alison's been very successful lately, and uh, I just wondered what you... Since she's left Yazoo and stuff, and gone on to other things, I wondered what you thought about what she was doing, you know. Well, I think she's, what she's doing is great, you know. I mean, she's finally doing what she always wanted to do, you know, kind of write her own material, take part in the production and everything. Sorry, you know? I don't know you're here. Here's your tea. Well, thanks a lot. Okay. Some sugar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, also, I wanted to ask you about your new label. You've got, well, it's not that new, but I mean, you, you sort of, I wondered if you was going to be going uh, more into that in the future rather than... Uh, actually recording yourself or are you going to carry on recording? Well, I'm sort of dividing my time half half, you know. We've got like uh, several acts on the label now. Uh, Eric's doing some stuff on the label yeah. from the Assembly. But he's not got... actually working with you? Uh, no, he's doing some stuff on his own, doing an album on his own. And we've got a new signing, a new young band called Absolute. Yeah. Right, that's right, I've heard that they're, they're, they're in fact quite young. Yeah, they're, they're young, you know, and they're hot. Uh, hold on a minute. Uh, can you take this away, please, to me? For God's sake, just take it away. It's really delicious. It's special for everybody. You're really lucky. Vince, would you like some? No, I think I'll skip it this time. Anybody want it? Yeah! <laughs> there you go. You can have the tea. Right. Carry um, on. Yeah, where was I? Yeah, so when are we going to be hearing a, a sample of these, uh, this new band that you've signed? Uh, well, we've mixed a single with Cut It, and it'll be coming out in about a month's time. Oh, really? With a band called Absolute. Right. Buy it. It was two years since you two met for the last time, wasn't it? I mean, what's it like meeting up again after two years? No, it was, it was only two hours ago, wasn't it? Well, yeah, we did actually meet earlier on when we was going through rehearsals. Oh, really? Well, you know, I mean, it's still two years, isn't it? Since, I mean, well, yeah, in yeah? Sort of before today, yeah, two yeah. years. And? Yeah. It's great to see you. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you might not think it's wildly ecstatic here in the RS studios, but music business in its heyday of the Who was really spectacular. Have a look at a clip we've just found up in the library today. This is quite okay. spectacular. This is the Who. This is the disappointing thing about synthesizers, really, isn't it? You can't sort of hit yourself over the head with a... Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, my quip. Oh. It took me about five hours oh, to do this. this is not re... Oh, I'm sorry. Right, Village People. Now, they thrive on being... Outrageous and hitting the headlines with controversy. Uh, 1978, they had YMCA, and in 1985, <laughs> back with sex over the phone. <laughs>